warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Dr. Zakir Alam wasalan ila Terenjanu I'm Siti Hajar binti Rashid I'm a medical student and you are a medical doctor I think you will understand me more uh, Doctor My question is why uh, before before it, I want to say something that why uh, government never appreciate people like me and also my friends maybe one day the better treatment for cancer and also other illness are discovered by people like me and also my friends until today doctor I depends on loan which high profit can you repeat the question okay. a bit slowly if you don't mind sister Okay, the okay, first one I didn't catch, it's my fault. Okay. Can you repeat the question, sister? Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, doctor? Uh, <laughs> doctor? Uh, why government never appreciate people like me and also <laughs> my friends? Maybe one day, the treatment, the better treatment for cancer and also other illness are discovered by future doctors like me and also my friends. Until today, doctor, I depends on loan to support my study known as PTPTN, which high of uh, interest known as RIBA. Yeah. Is it for me? Uh, is it fair for me and also my friends? My question is, doctor. My question, doctor, what is the punishment for the someone who treat me and also my friends like this, doctor? <laughs> <laughs> uh, doctor, uh, before that, uh, my last word, please pray for my success. Thank Insha you. Inshallah. <laughs> Sister has asked me a very difficult question. She has asked me that why doesn't the government appreciate her and I believe she's a medical doctor and I think she's doing research on cancer and she, the government doesn't appreciate her and inshallah she will find the treatment for cancer and why? I, I don't know your government very well but one thing I know but one thing I know that your government has appreciated me mashallah your government in 2013 gave me the Toko Mal Hijra award I don't know why they selected me I don't think so I deserve it but I appreciate they appreciating me as a die I don't think whether I deserve the award but the government has appreciated me so I have to say Jazakallah to them regarding your work maybe you weren't able to prove to them and one thing sister the thing you have to realize is that when a doctor is doing research, there may be 100 doctors who have certain remedy. Why this? High fees. High fees on loans. No, but she told me that why are they appreciating you? Yes. And you told me you are doing research on cancer, correct? I, I think I said that maybe the... Um, the treatment for cancer are uh, discovered by people like me and correct. also my friends. Yes, I understood you correctly. Uh, yes. I understood you correctly. You understand me well. Very well, thank you. Uh, and once thank more, you. My doctor, wife didn't understand you well, but I understood you well. And you rightly said, and you rightly said, I will understand you because I'm a doctor and my wife is not a doctor. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So, the, so I understood you correct that you are saying maybe you will find the treatment for cancer. And coming to your second part of your question, you said that why are they charging so high fees? And you have to take loan, and you have to take loan in riba, and then is it wrong or is it haram or halal? Taking loan. Sister, point number one. I, being a medical doctor, normally for a medical student, to train a student in medicine, the government or any medical college have to spend hundreds of thousands of ringgits. I know that. And normally, most of the countries in the world, the government colleges, what fees they charge, 
is a small percentage of what they spent. A small percentage. This comes from the government quota as support. Most of, and I believe even even Malaysian government. But there are certain colleges which charge capitation fees if you do not get merit seat, and that is in India also. If you don't get merit seat, that means I don't score about 95 out of 100 in PCB, physics, chemistry, and biology. I have to go to a capitation college. Now, when I go to a capitation college, the problem is in me, not in the government. Because I did not qualify to get a merit seat, I'm getting a seat by money. So if I go to a government college, I don't know of anywhere in the world where the government colleges charge high fees. Yes, there are certain colleges in many countries, including India, that I'm aware of, that it's a private college where they charge high fees because the government doesn't subsidize them. The government only subsidizes the government college, and that's a fact. So if a private person is saying, I want to open a college, I want to open a medical college, so the government says, fine, we give you permission, but you should give us out of maybe 200 seats, 50 seats to the government, the balance 150 seats, you can charge normal fees. So here the government gives the permission to a private college, a private organization, to make a college which cost millions of dollars, millions of ringgits, and then they give maybe 50 seats as merit, and the balance 150 is fees which is normally what is spent by the organization. Now when the organization which is giving you a chance to become a doctor, I would like to know sister, are you, are you studying in a government college or a private college? Government college. And what is the fees? It's about 3,600 uh, per year. Per year. 3,000 ringgit per year is less than a thousand, 3,000 ringgit is less than a thousand dollars. Correct? Um, 3,600 ringgit is less than a thousand dollars. Where in the world? Where in the world? I challenge you, anyone in the world, to make a medical college which spent thousand dollars. It's not possible, sister. Even so, it is wrong to say that the government is charging. You should say, yes, the government is subsidizing 90%, they should subsidize 95 that you can say. So sister, you should know that to run a college, medical college with the equipment, etc., it costs a lot of money. On per student, it is tens of thousands of dollars, depending upon the standard. But whichever standard you are running, no college in the world can run on charging thousand dollars a year for a student. So you got a merit seat. Yes, that's a different question that you may not be able to pay thousand dollars fees or three thousand six hundred ringgit. So here, Islam has a solution. If you cannot afford it, Islam has a solution of zakat. And I know Malaysia, mashallah, has got a baitul mal. Correct? If you can't afford that, there will be many people who will be willing. Like for us in Bombay, anyone in India, any Muslim who gets a merit seat, we will fund them full, no problem. Merit seat is nothing, peanuts. We even fund, if the person is a good guy, we even give the competition fees, which is big amounts. Which is how much? $50,000. How much? $50,000. So what you have to realize, sister, and why should you take riba? If someone in India tells me he has taken riba, understandable. Malaysia is a country which even promotes interest fee banking and I'm a student of interest fee banking being a medical doctor Malaysia has a system of interest fee banking if you're taking a loan why are you taking a loan from a riba bank it's your fault sister if someone in India tells me he had no option he has an excuse you sister being a Muslim a mashallah you seem to be practicing Muslim with hijab etc if you have to take a loan take a loan from an Islamic bank and they'll willingly give you why won't they give you 3,000 ringgits is peanuts. Peanuts. If you can't get from here, I will fund your fees. <laughs> I will give from my... I don't have to. I'm not a rich man. But 3,000 ringgit is nothing, sister. Islamic Research Foundation is a small organization. We have Islamic Research Foundation International. So 3,600 ringgit is nothing, sister. Surely there are many people. If you don't find, it will be my pleasure to fund you 
and your friends also inshallah how many friends do you have how many my friends how many friends do you have um, my classmate is about 141 all those who want help how many are there how many of your friends who are like you who cannot pay the fees actually it's okay it's about um, actually the person who do not get scholarship is about 80 percent uh, 80 uh, uh, of my friends all the 80 of your friends inshallah if they can't get i will fund inshallah till they complete the medical college inshallah okay thank you doctor you're the most welcome but please please don't blame the government Never. the government is a good government okay thank you thanks a lot welcome so can we have the next question please It is an honor and a pleasure for me to be invited by the Chief Minister of Taranganu State. The glorious Quran is the last and final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, which was revealed to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.